How is everyone doing on this fine day? Today is February 1st. This is Western Newfoundland's ice fishing opener. This evening, uh, me and a couple buddies, we're going to go fishing uh, up at the Humber Canal. is a great spot. I'm very happy to announce that today's video is brought to you guys by MFS Lures. Now, MFS is a Newfoundland-made company, uh, owned and operated. I was talking to the owner. Uh, he's honestly one of the most genuine people I've ever met in my life. And he was very kind enough to give me a whole box full of baits uh, to help me out and to try over our ice fishing season, our winter season, and our summer season. So a uh, big shout out to you, uh, Scott. Thanks, I appreciate it a lot. Uh, certainly going to help me out. So these here are just some of the baits that uh, Scott was kind enough to gift me uh, for my adventures to help me out. Um, you know, we got some spinners your classic spinners they're absolutely great for trout and landlocked salmon you know mice fishing too you got your grubs here i really like these curly tail and i do believe he has his own design for these which is pretty unique and i really like it i must say uh we got your teardrop jigs which are awesome for just finicky trout at the end of the season in august or they're great for ice fishing as well and then we got these big guys i'm gonna be using these for some big landlocked salmon and maybe some striper who knows so definitely check them out guys uh great company it's definitely one you should support here locally made in newfoundland a lot of the fishing i'm going to be doing this season is brought to you by mfs baits so uh, definitely check it out um you know it's good stuff um we we literally sat down and chatted for like two and a half hours great guy great company and i even told him i i wouldn't be doing this if i didn't actually like the baits um i'm very picky about fishing i really do like the baits and i've been using them long before I met him uh, and he reached out to me uh, because they're Newfoundland made and owned and it's quality stuff. Brought to you by MFS Baits, let's go fishing. Well, we just broke out here at the canal. Water's looking perfect, looking perfect. Here comes from outdoors. <laughs> what a beautiful day. It's a trout. No, it's not, it's landlocked. <laughs> First one. Okay, keep them in the water and I'll get situated and I'll come unhook them for you. Nice. Just leave them fully in the water there. Oh, I know. I was trying to. Trout. Yeah, I'm keeping these. Yeah, I wouldn't blame. Let's cook them up, eh? Little pan sized trout. I got one. Oh, he came off. I had one, brother. Okay, I'll come get him off for you, you know? Oh, no. Well, no, we're not in no danger here, but you just got the lure flipped around weird. Oh, there we go. Bye -bye. Gone. Quick release. First fish of the season. See Fred's little little truth. It's a nice little, pan size. You say size. nine inches, probably. Probably, yeah. Yep. Stomach full. Ish. <laughs> we'll cook him up after. Perfect, perfect. So I got a seven foot rod right now, medium action. Laugh at me, but this is a Timu reel. They're good, aren't they, Fred? Tell me they're not. You got another one? He's not half bad. Look at him. <laughs> Look at the size of that one. By no means is that a big landlock, but for here, that's not bad at all. Okay. What? Yeah, okay. Flick him up on the bank, Tanika. Okay. That's not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> so like I was saying, I got my seven foot medium rod out here. My Timu reel. Literally got it for free. So I figured I might as well come up and test it out. And it's treating me real well. Yeah. It's a Quantum Graph EX. And uh, I'm just using right now. I'm just using a minnow spin because it got a bit of weight to it. And that's what was tied on. Um, I'm going to go switch to an MFS here now in a second. I dare say. Let's get him unhooked for you. Yeah, especially up here. Because, yeah. like, up here, the average fish size is, like, what, 8 to 15 inches? Probably. Yeah. Probably. I'd say that's a fair statement. So, you want to just cook one up later? Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll pick one to cook. It's awesome. There's fish around. That's yeah, it's not, not bad, bad at so all, much. man. Not for, not for up here, especially. That's a beautiful thing. Howley, we wouldn't even think about that. No. <laughs> So this here is kind of a lighter setup. I have another rod up there with an MFS tied on ready to go, actually. Um, it's a bit of heavier setup. 
I think I have a 3500 series reel on that one. This one's 2500. So I might go switch to that there now. The fish seem like they're uh, they're around. So it was three fish in probably three minutes, which is not bad at all for up here this time of the year, especially. Got a bite? Got him? That's not, that's like not bad, dude. I'm keeping it. I don't care. Like for this time of the year, you're not going to get no better than that out here open water fishing. You know what I mean? I just had a hit. Nope. Last one. That's not bad, Skipper. Like in the summer months, we'd never keep that. No. But, but right now, that's, that's what you're going to get up here. And that's a good fish for up here. Yeah. So all that happened there was a little school hit. It's kind of weird though for a trout to be in a school at Landlock. Yeah, he would have been surprised. Right? Yeah. But uh, down here, the canal flows this way, comes in and loops around and swirls. So all the bait from the canal uh, kind of gets brought up here. So this is where they all kind of kind of hang out. Dude, what it, like what's going on over there? She got a line or what? She do. She got another line. Oh, we'll drag it up, man. There's probably that many lures on it. So that's what she caught. That's the most noofy rig I've ever seen. A friggin' steel wire for a trout. Like, what are you doing? You're like, you're supposed to tell me when you get a fish. Is that a landlock? Yeah. That is the darkest landlock I think I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yep. Quite a dark landlock. They're so much hardier than river-run salmon, man, even though they're, like, legitimately the same breed. <laughs> Look how dark he is. He's gone. So we've been here for maybe 40 minutes, and this is what we got so far. Not too bad. Now, this canal is connected to Grand Lake, uh, which is connected to Sandy Lake. It's a whole reservoir, so there's potential for some real big fish. Um, not necessarily here, but they do get pretty big. Some of them are here. Once they get in this system, they can't get back out. So there's potential, but this is probably about the average. It's pretty good. Nothing to complain about. So I was just looking through. Would use these here. Now, these are more catered towards like little stream fishing or ice fishing. Um, They'd be somewhat hard to use here because you can't have to cast pretty far. So what I'm going to do is actually use what he gave me for some striper. And I think this will work because I've used tubes before for landlock. Now these are, see what it says. It doesn't say how long they are. Um, I would say they're three inches. They got a stinger hook, which is going to help me out a lot with uh, the take ratio. So let's throw these for a bit and just see what happens. You never know. I, I think it'll work. Well... I got my first fish and the camera wasn't rolling. It's all right. Nice little landlock there, probably eight inches. Woohoo! See if it'll jump again for us. No. This water's cold. I want to get him back in quick. And gone. Oh, Red Devil. I want to know who's up here using. 88 pound liters is what I wants to know. So we're gonna switch baits now. I am gonna go with this big tube, the MFS tube, just to see how it does, because I know I can cast this pretty far. So we'll get this tied on there and uh, get back, see if it breaks my rod or not. It's one ounce, so should go far and should do well in these deep waters. Alrighty, we got her on. I'm not sure how that stinger hook's gonna do. Um, a little far, but That'd be good for what it's designed for. I'm pretty sure this is like designed for a lake trout. So it makes sense, but I'm going to try it for the landlock here. They should be able to eat that, I think. Should help with any short strikes. So let's get that out there and give that a go. Looks real good in the water. Oh, I had one on it. He come off. Well, I had one right there. All right, this is what we got on the go. MFS lure. This one here is a prism in it. Filled with a little diamond shape. Uh, crystals that flash in the water so high hopes for this one if i can cast it i got some split shots on it i should be able to cast it so let's get this on the go friends up there trying to build a fire i just seen a fish rise there right next to where i just cast it i have no idea what they're eating off top of the water this time of the year but cast it to it right now i'm using a crankbait so we'll see what happens might be lucky and strike into one here now in a minute
I swear to God, it was my 20th cup of tea. Oh my God. Hold that up. We'll slow down a lot now. We're just, we're gonna go up there and think we're gonna cook up a trout. Trout or landlock? Trout. Trout, we're gonna cook up a trout, so. Let's get to it. Yeah, she slowed down a lot. We're seeing some fish hit the top of the water. I don't know what they're hitting this time of year, but they're doing it, so. It's pretty good, pretty pleased with today. We got a few fish, so. It's pretty good. Here's a little trout we're gonna get going. It's probably, probably an eight inch little uh, brook trout. So she'll cook good over that fire we got. I'm just gonna gut it and uh, we're gonna roast it over the fire with some salt. Yeah, buddy, yeah, that's cooked. Oh, yeah. It looks good, though. You trying already? No. No? You're just going to take a fly off kind of thing? Yeah. Or just get a piece. Just go piece by piece. I mean, it's only me and you eating it. We'll get this gone pretty quick. Be honest why it's a brook trout, man. It's good anyway. Oh, my God. It's like butter. <laughs> oh, my God. You give me the big piece. Like that's like particularly Oh, it's good. smoky too. Yeah, it's actually it's fucking actually good. sick. Real good actually. It's actually really good. It's good. It's me and Fred just slammed that trout. It's uh, fishing slowed down a lot. It's getting pretty dark here now. So we're going to have a few more flicks and I think we're going to pack up for today. It's a good day so far. Well, I say so far, it's pretty well over. Alrighty. So it was a great day here at the canal. Uh, we managed to get three nice keepers. You can see they're, they're somewhat big. They're just a little skinny this time of year, that's all. Uh, like I said, big shout out to Scott for, for all the lures he gave me. And uh, yeah, we're going to conclude this now and pack up and get ready to go home. So it was a great first day out.